Some people, I think, believe that when you get into the summer months, you can just sit on a lawn chair or sit on your porch and just watch the grass grow. Sort of. If you want it to grow the right way, though, you still have some things you need to pay attention to. And those things, they're all right here at Race Brothers. And Roger is with me once again. Always good to see you, my friend. Good to see you, Tom. Okay. Yes, you do want to sit back and enjoy, you know, your lawn and just watch the birdies and the whole thing. But in truth, if you want it to be something that you can look out and go, yeah, that I could take a picture of, you really do need to do a few things even during the summer. Yeah, you gotta keep up on it. Your busiest time, of course, is spring because you're getting all the pre-emergence done and then right. grass going fast and, and all that. But even in the summer, then you got other issues. Is it, has it been raining much? And if it gets really hot and, and that slows things down, so there's other forms of maintenance you gotta keep up with. Okay, the first thing you said, you know, has it been raining much, that sort of thing. How do I know how much to water? I mean, what, is there a schedule you should keep as far as watering a lawn? Is it temperature dependent? I, I mean, little, how do I know? A little of all of that. Uh, and then it depends on the, and how hot it's gotten. Uh -huh. But typically, you just have to mow, I mean, water maybe two or three times a week. And it's usually best early in the morning. You, you really don't like to do it in the evening and then it all cools down and, and then the cooler temperatures, you want to get it, get yeah. it up in the morning. But, uh, and, and then you can t kind of tell. If it's, it's been really dry, you're gonna see a little hint of browning and then that means you need to, to maybe add a, a, fill in the days for a while. But you do want to keep a close eye on it because mm -hmm. too wet can get mildewy or moldy. Right. And too dry, it's just gonna it, can die when or When your grass dormant. gets crackly, yeah. you know you, yeah. you may want to add a little. All right, let's talk about another thing because this drives me and I'm sure a lot of other people berserk which are the pests, the moles, the voles. Uh, all of those things are running rampant during the summer. Yes, they are. And you gotta attack them in two different ways. One way you can get it started, even including the moles, is with your fleas and your ticks and all the bugs in your yard. Product like this here, right. it's a granule. It lasts about 90 days. Where a liquid, if you spray, a liquid lasts until a rain or two, and then it's washed yeah, away. Yeah, it's kind of gone. But this here, you do that a couple of times a year, and you've got all of that. Should be covered, And yeah. the grub control that's in here helps with the moles. That's what they eat. But then the moles themselves, as you know, they're a different problem. They are. You can go after them with ga poison gases and gummies and pellets and traps and everything else. But they're just, they're hard. You got to get after them. Well, I've, fi I've found most of the time moles, you don't get rid of them. They just go on vacation for a few weeks and then they come back home. Yeah, yeah. They go visit the neighbors for a while and then they come back. All right. You know, when you talk about leaving things on, mm. on the lawn, because this is the time where, you know, people put the kiddie pools out or they put lawn furniture out or whatever you're kind of uh, damaging the grass if you keep that sitting in one place for the, the summer season. Yeah, you sure are. A lot of that stuff you need to be moving around. Now the kiddie pool, if it's small enough where you totally drain them now and then you can move it. Some of those holes get a little bigger and I guess you just gotta sure. pick a spot you sacrifice. But everything you leave on the lawn is gonna leave its mark. Mm -hmm. Also a time to make sure that, you know, because you've been cutting you know, your lawn during the springtime, wet grass, thick grass, you may have dulled that mower blade a little bit. Really need to, that is like one of the more important things to do is keep the blade sharp. Absolutely. It cuts better, it's healthier on the grass, it makes your job easier, and it's not that big a deal. Yeah. Depending on your mower, one or two bolts, draw, and bolt on your new it blade. Is. If I get can, the other one if sharpened. I can take a blade off my mower, and I have, everyone can. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, then one last thing. What about weeds and stuff? Can you still go after those during the summer, or is it just best to not be putting too many things on no, your lawn? No, you can still. You just don't want to get on a program where you think to need to do it every couple of weeks. Right. But if you start seeing some leaves come back up, some people even like to take something like Roundup or some of the sprays and yeah. spot spray some real problem areas or specific plants. Okay. So there are things that are specifically for each season, and of course you can find them here at Race Brothers and. You know, if you're lucky, you might even bump into Roger. He knows all the stuff here too, just like everybody on the floor. Your experts are waiting for you right here at Race Brothers, right? Right at 2310 West Kearney in Springfield. They just need to tell a friend and come see us. What he said.